Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we will be reviewing the commutative property and checking out a green car. We're going to talk about addition and multiplication and how we have the commutative property of addition and the commutative property of multiplication, and we're going to practice working with both of them. First of all, what does commute mean? It's not the commutative property. Some people say it incorrectly. It's not commutative, it's commutative. When have you heard the word commute before? Perhaps you've heard the word commute when you've talked about going to work, commuting to work. It's when somebody moves from one place to another place, right? They drive from home to work, perhaps. Commuting is when you're moving. With addition and with multiplication, numbers can move and it's okay. It does not change the value of the expression. Let's take a look at an example. I can say 4 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 4. Notice the numbers moved, but they're both still equal to 7. 4 plus 3 is 7. 3 plus 4 is 7. It's fine. It's okay to move numbers when you just have addition. It's also okay to move numbers when you have multiplication. 2 times 7, or 7 times 2 is 14, and 2 times 7 is 14. That's fine. Commuting numbers is perfectly okay with addition and multiplication. Not okay with subtraction and division, folks. We don't have those. But we do have the commutative property of addition and the commutative property of multiplication. Time for our first activity. What I want you to do is look at all this nonsense on the board and identify the commutative property. Which ones of those show numbers moving but giving an equal value? The same numbers moving. So we can eliminate the purple one because although that is a true equation, 2 times 3 is 1 plus 2 plus 3, we're not moving numbers and keeping the same operation. The red one there, we did move the numbers, but we changed the operation, so it can't be that. The green one in the center, 1 plus 2 is 3, that's just an equation. That doesn't help us at all. Were you able to identify the commutative property of multiplication in yellow, 1 times 2 equals 2 times 1. And the commutative property of addition, 6 plus 10 is equal to 10 plus 6. Now, at this point, we're learning this huge word, the commutative property of multiplication, the commutative property of addition. And you might be asking yourself, when am I ever going to use this? And let me tell you, the commutative property is actually something I use on a pretty regular basis. And this is how. If I have a list of numbers like this, I like to move them around when I'm adding them. And you might look at that and see all those arrows and all those numbers moving and say, how in the world did that help? But if you've done this before, then you know exactly how that helped. It helped because I've grouped together the numbers that will add up to 10. I moved 8 and 2 together, 6 and 4, 5 and 5, 9 and 1, and 3 and 7. That makes my adding so much easier. That's exactly how we use the commutative property. I want you to try it out. Use the commutative property to add these numbers. Move them around in some kind of a way. It helps when you're doing mental math. It also helps when you're writing it out. But try it out and add up the numbers. Three, two, one, go. I moved a couple of numbers like this. I switched the seven and the four. I switched the five and the six. And that gave me a 20, a 10, and a five. That's a whole lot easier to add up than trying to add 13 plus four plus seven plus five plus six. I thought that was an awful lot easier. And that's how we use the commutative property. We move numbers back and forth. We often move numbers in ways that will help us make our lives easier. 
Remember, you can commute numbers when you're adding and when you're multiplying. In fact, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Commuting means to move numbers. The numbers stay the same, the operation stays the same, but you move the numbers. It's a great trick for mental math and you can only do it with multiplication and with addition. I hope that lesson on the commutative property has been helpful for you. Make sure to practice those questions on the worksheet before you take the quiz. Have a wonderful day.